What are structural wall framing posts? They are posts that are going to be framed into the walls for the use of structural supporting other members of the building. You can see here that a post has been framed in what, what looks like to be at the end or the corner of a wall here and it's supporting the break of two beams. Here's another post that is at the end of the wall and it's supporting the end of a particular beam that is supporting other parts of the home. And I would imagine this beam, I'm pretty sure this beam was actually used to support the roof rafters. This is a single story home. Now the other post next to it is actually used or going to be used to support a large glue lamb beam that is going to be used as the roof hip. And this beam was extraordinarily large. Um, and don't forget that if you're going to be supporting beams like these, uh, that uh, you will need to have some type of supports underneath the post. You will need actually to, to have some type of a concrete footing or structural framing to support the post. You can't just transfer the weight of a large beam to the floor um, with just a regular floor framing without anything underneath it. You know, and again, I've seen this too many times. Someone goes in and remodels a house and they just put, put a supporting post in and there's nothing under the floor to support it. Um, concrete footings and even raised foundations will require structural supports. And this is why we use structural engineers. So posts are used under beams to redistribute the weight of certain areas of the building and transfer this weight down to the ground. And you do need, you will need something in, uh, in the ground, like a large concrete footing um, to support the weight to keep the house from falling down. There is one more thing I'd like to point out. The locations of these posts are going to be provided by the structural engineer of the project. The structural engineer will provide you with structural pages. These are usually um, located in the like S1, S2, S3 areas for structure. And there will be details provided for how to connect these um, the posts to the beams and uh, whatever they will be getting connected to. Every once in a while you're going to come across plans that will not provide these connections. And, and uh, for clarification, wouldn't be a bad idea to contact the structural engineer to provide you with the details. Don't take it upon yourself to figure this out. Um, you know, in some cases you can, but in some cases you're not going to be able to. We'll require some additional information.